Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to tell you guys how to make a simple game for beginners called Avoid the Falling Object. So, let's get right into it. First, you need to name this sprite Movement Character. This is going to be the character that you move around with. For the event, you're going to go when green flag clicked and get a forever block. Inside that, you need two of the if thens. In one, make it key right arrow clicked. In the other one, make it key left arrow clicked. Now, go back to the motion and say change X by 10 for right, ar right arrow, and for left arrow, make it change X by minus 10. Now, put them both in the forever block. There. Now, if you see, a character will move left and right. Okay. Next, you're going to change this to minus 120. There you go. Now, a character can move. Great. Now, let's do the ball. First, you're going to choose a sprite. Any ball will do. I'm going to fix this ball. Now, I'm going to change the costume to a blue one. The rest you can delete. Now go back to coding and go when green flag clicked. Under, you're going to make a variable and call this one score for all sprites. When green flag clicked, set score to one, zero. Under the variable, put forever. And go to motion and say go to x y in the first one you're going to go operators and here pick random to minus 200 to 200. make sure to put the smaller number first scratch usually expects it for y put 180 and then the forever under that you're going to get the repeat until block be in the motion in the control section in this one you're going to grab on the operators get one of the all and here say if touch and movement character which is the cat if touch a character or here you're going to go to operators and get the smaller then if touch and movement character or Y position, which you'll find in the bottom of the motion section, is lower than minus 160. Now, you're going to put that in the repeat until block. Now here, you're going to make it in the motion section, go change Y by minus 8. You can do minus 10 if you want it to go faster. And in the control section, get weight 0 0.000. There we go. Now the ball will go minus 8y every single time, every 0 0.001 seconds. Now, do you see the ball comes down? Now, you're going to get one of the if zen. Just keep it in the forever block, but change it out of the re repeat until. In here, go to sensing and put touch and movement character. If touch and movement character, go to the looks and say game over for two seconds. And then you got to go back to the control sections and stop everything. That makes it now that when the ball hits this guy, it says game over and everything stops. Under that, put another if then. Keep it in the forever box. Here, you're going to go back to operators and get the not. 
and put in sensing touch and movement character. If not touch and movement character, go back to your variables and change score by one. There we have it. Our game's done. Now, as you see, all you got to do is dodge the ball. When you hit it, it says game over. And everything stops. Now, go back to green flag. And you see, our score goes up every time it touches the ground. Look, two, three, four, five. You can add more balls. You can do different stuff. You can make the ball go faster. I'd like to see what you guys can do.